I thought I'd do a little demo on how to do a leak down test. This is kind of a run of the mill leak down tester. This one might even be from Harbor Freight. I don't remember exactly where I got it. But it's got two gauges and a regulator. Uh, and then this, this hose part, which unclips, and this is a, an adapter for a spark plug hole. So the first step, well actually the, the real first step is I've removed all the plugs. Um, I've parked, this is a manual car, so I've put the engine at top dead center for number one, so that the, when the number one spark plug would fire. And I've put it in first gear and I've put the parking brake on. We're going to do a leak down test by putting air into the cylinder to fill the, the cylinder and try to measure how much air is leaking out. Um, of course, if a valve is open, a lot of air is going to leak out. If um, the valves are closed, only a very little bit of air should leak out, and that's usually a measurement of the health of the rings in the cylinder walls of the engine, because that's the only other place for the air to go. It could be a head gasket. It could be a bunch of stuff, but if everything's going well, it generally points to, to good engine health. So what we do with this is we plug it into shop line pressure and it'll show us the pressure. So right now it's about 105 PSI in the hose and you can use the regulator to make sure that the needle is pointing to the, the set area of this right hand gauge. Now if you have shop pressure that's much higher than you know 100 PSI, 125, 150 PSI you'll have to use this regulator to back it down because this needle will be way past zero. Um, for my garage, I have it set so that's pretty much as much air is going to it is, is going to this gauge. Now, so what it's doing, so we, we're putting in about 100 PSI of pressure. It's going to measure how much is leaking out, and the more that leaks out, this needle will, will move, and it's measured in percent. So as I plug this part in, we're going to see that the needle is going to go all the way to high leak down as it starts filling, and then as it fills up with air, it will give us the final value. So there we go. So it's telling us that it's you know just a little bit below where our set point was. Um, so again, in percent, each one of these is 5%, so we're probably talking 3%, maybe 4% leak down on the cylinder. So that's how that would be read. So that's very good. That's, um, that's a very healthy cylinder. If you aren't using um, a method to stop the engine from rotating, if you don't have the park, if you have an automatic car and you can't put it in gear and use the parking brake, you can either put a flywheel lock on the teeth of the flywheel. You can try to put the other plugs in, but that usually doesn't work. But what happens is the air pressure, 100 psi of air pressure, is strong enough to push the piston down to the very bottom of its stroke. And most engines at the very bottom of the of the compression stroke, will um, the exhaust valve starts opening. So as the combustion happens in the cylinder and the explosion is pushing the piston down, right before the piston gets to bottom dead center, you know, really all of your, your force has been used up. You've, you've captured the majority of the force from the explosion. So they start opening the exhaust valve so that extra combustion can start evacuating the spent gases out of the cylinder. So if it reaches the bottom of the cylinder, you know, you can usually watch on the gauge. The gauge will start to climb into the good zone, and then you will actually hear the engine start turning over as it pushes the piston down. And as that happens, the needle usually starts dropping because then the air is escaping out of the valve. So that's one of the, the things to be aware of. But like for this car, this is a four-cylinder engine. Um, so I just did cylinder one. I know what the firing order is. The firing order is one, three, four, two. So if I now turn the engine 180 degrees, half a rotation, the cylinder three is going to be ready to test. Then do it another 180 degrees. Number four is going to be ready to test. Do it another 180 degrees, and number two will be ready to test. So you can do test them all at their uh, their their spark event or their top dead center.